Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, he's into you, but his words say otherwise. Really quickly, if you're new to my channel, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be new, notified of new content. I shoot about three or four videos per week. All right, our topic, he's into you, but his words say otherwise. And let me tell you where this um, came about, uh, this uh, topic. Uh, one of you wrote in the comments section about a man who was demonstrating a lot of actions um, that he was into this woman. In other words, he called all the time, he texted all the time, he, he wanted to spend time with her. And yet his words didn't seem to match. So we've often heard that, we, you know, you've heard the phrase actions matching words, right? Oftentimes, a lot of times, Men are words, 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 but their actions don't match. It reminds me of my fair lady. If you love me, show me. Okay. So in this particular case, she was expressing how this man would text all the time. I mean, incessantly text and communicate. And basically, you know, it demonstrated from an action perspective, he was into her. And yet he had trouble saying the words, I love you. I had trouble saying, you know, where this relationship is going. So I wanted to dig in deeper in that. And if you're not familiar with the book, The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman, The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman, he talks about the way we express love. And each person has their own different way of expressing love. For example, there's words of affirmation or adoration, as we Leos like to be adored, um, or at least that's the way I am. Number two, um, quality time. Number three, physical touch. Number four, acts of service. And number five, gifts. So in this particular case, we might assume that his action of constantly texting might be an act of service, but I don't really feel like that's what that is. In fact, in this particular case, I don't think his actions are really demonstrating much other than he likes, he's connected with her in some way. But I want to go a little bit deeper because I do believe it's so important that we use our words as well. You know, that we express adoration for our partner, that we express appreciation, that we express affection through our words. And even going so far to demonstrate where you want to see this relationship headed. Okay? Oftentimes men and women will will lean back a little bit on the whole where this relationship is going in the early stages. And yet, in my purview, I believe it's important to start leaning in once you become intimate with a partner and you start progressing down the path of relationship, there should be some sort of conversation about what each other wants in relationships. So it's important to be using our words, not just to demonstrate um, adoration for a partner, but to affirm that this is a partnership that you want to go down. So in this particular case where the man's actions were merely, you know, demonstrating he was into her, but we don't know what the motivation was. Is, was the motivation just purely sex or were they doing quality time together? And that's the other key component. Are they doing quality activities together? Are they doing quality hobbies together? Are they doing quality mutual interests together? Because ultimately, that's how you build the roots to deeper trust in relationship. And that's my invitation for most everybody is to lean into the roots that need to be established in relationship. And words is one of those important roots, being able to express ourselves. Because ultimately, if we're unable to express either adoration or affirm that this relationship has some consequence to it, and what I mean by um, consequence, I mean it has some sub substance to it, that has some real merit to it, then it could be a, a frustrating, frustrating relationship if two people aren't using their words. And so in this particular case, yes, I get his actions might seem like he's into her, but if the words aren't following up, 
then you have to ask yourself, is this really a relationship worth investing? And that's just my invitation in this particular case. And again, the book, The Five Love Languages, is something I highly recommend along, and I'm, I'm gonna mention this in almost all my videos, my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway, as well as my book, if you're not familiar with my book, understand men now, the relationships men commit to and why. I highly recommend checking out this book as well. It's a bit remedial. I'll be candid with you. It was written very basic. And yet it's some basic principles about understanding men. And I'm going to be shooting more videos about what's in the context of this book as well. Now, if you have a question that you think would be uh, video worthy, please do me a favor, post a comment of a, a really legitimate good question that I can shoot a video around because I'm always looking for good content and I want to be able to satisfy your needs, wants, and desires. And let me just say, when you do post a comment, I do my best to read every single one of them. I try to even respond back because there's great value. Also, I know many of you are interested in private coaching. There's a link in the description below to schedule a free discovery call because you might need some male perspective in your love life, whether it's to notice your blind, you know, to observe your blind spots from that male perspective, or maybe you are in a relationship and you're going, gosh, I'd like some feedback about the guy I'm with. And that's something I'm a master at. So again, check out that free discovery call on the link in the description. Ah, all right, that was a mouthful. So I hope you got some value from this video. I'm gonna wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm gonna reach into the computer and give your video and reach, give you a hug of love. I'm gonna ask you to turn to somebody and give them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. Thanks so much and wishing you a fabulous day. Bye-bye now.